A lot of charities nowadays asking for help as demand for services this year stretches resources. One of those charities, Cowboy Santas in Fort Worth, is finding that some people are giving no matter how hard it may be right now. CBS 11's Joel Thomas live in downtown Fort Worth with a pretty inspirational story. Joel? Well, you can see the need that they have here. What is behind me are just a few of the remaining 500 bags that were handed out today to families, each with enough toys for, for four children. And on that back wall, the empty shelves, the shelves that they'd hoped would have toys so they could serve hundreds of more families tomorrow. They've been desperately seeking donations, and one 62-year-old woman responded but said she was disabled, and they'd have to come pick her donation up. And so Jeff Bryan with Cowboy Santas went to Gloria Mosley's house. Hello. Mr. Jeff. Yes, ma'am. How are you, sir? Gloria's had a tough year. Her only surviving family member, her grandmother, died. And Gloria depends on disability checks after her stroke. I call it a speed bump on the road in life. <laughs> and when you go through a valley, you just got to hang in there because eventually you'll come back up on the mountaintop. So I, I have a, a lot to be thankful for. And I just want to share what I have. But Gloria was moved when she saw Cowboy Santa's empty shelves and the lines of families needing help. She dug down deep into her monthly check. This is for you and the children and gotcha. what you do. And I want to thank you so much for what y'all do. And she donated $50. Just a drop in the bucket. But if you get enough drops, you can fill that bucket up. That's right. So that's what I was trying to do. Gloria expected nothing in return, but sometimes everyone needs to know they're not forgotten at Christmas, especially someone with a heart like Gloria's. We wanted to give this to you for your contribution to us. Oh, uh, sir, uh, thank you very much, <laughs> Jeff. Can I give you a hug? Oh, sure. Honey. Oh, uh, thank <laughs> you very much, sir. I, oh, I love dolls. Well, good. There is still time for you to donate as well at any Fort Worth police or fire station, or you can drop off your toys here at the Tyndall Warehouse at 7th and Grove Streets in downtown beginning at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Reporting live, Joel Thomas, CBS 11 News.